What it is guys, my name is Swifters, and today I have for you guys an official breakdown of the brand new Zetsuba no Shima Zombies trailer. Now if you guys would like to check out the full trailer for yourself without my commentary, I will have a link to that down in the description below on top of a live reaction by myself of that trailer again. Both of those videos can be found down in the description below. With that being said, let's jump right into today's breakdown. Alright guys, to start things off, we have our brand new Division 9 logo which opens up the scene to our four characters making their way over to the island. Then we can hear Takio talking about how there are individuals who see themselves greater than nature. Then we can actually see a look of the Apothecan symbols on the pillars of this area. It could very well be a ritual area. Of course, the Apothecan language is extremely significant within Black Ops 3. We had it in Shadows of Evil, Der Isenjok, now with Zet, Subono and I'm assuming we will see a return of the Apothecan symbols in the upcoming maps. Now with this next scene, it appears that we have test subjects in their respective tubes. And now this room itself definitely reminds me of the lab from Doris. I'm very interested in seeing if these test subjects have something to do with the overall main Easter egg. I'm assuming that we're going to be saving the character of Takio, but I could be wrong. Moving on, we get to take a look at a zombie hopping over a barricade of leaves. Now this zombie definitely reminds me of that of Shino Numa. Now as we continue on to this next scene, it appears that we could possibly possibly see a transportation system in the very back left hand side. Now as we continue onward, we can see our four characters, Takio of which is leading them. You guys can actually see Takio holding the brand new HG-40 submachine gun. As I'm sure you guys already know, this is a different rendition from the MP-40 from previous zombie maps. Now this next part shows a brand new trap. These are vines coming out from the sides. Now this trap definitely reminds me of the chain trap from that of Shadows of Evil. Can't wait to see how this trap is implemented into the game and if there are multiple versions of it throughout the map alongside all of the brand new traps which will be showcased later on. Nothing too important in this next scene, we can see that the Bowie Knife will be returning in the back corner. Moving onward, this scene, we appear to have cocoons hanging from the branches overhead. As you guys can see, it appears that Jason Blundell is a sucker for medieval spiders. Moving onward, this appears to be another brand new trap. This is the Venus flytrap that our characters can use to their advantage in order to kill a bunch of zombies. Now we have an overall look of the map, we have the titles at Tsubonoshima. Nothing too important in this next scene, one of our characters has picked up a carpenter and now we get to see one of our characters using the brand new HG-40 submachine gun as well. Now we have some gameplay of that Venus flytrap that I previously showed you. Now we've got an Argus shotgun from the mystery box, unfortunately the mystery box it doesn't look all that cool like it did back on Shadows of Evil or even Origins. Now we can see Dempsey slaughtering zombies with the death machine, another look at the HG-40 submachine gun, and then our other characters wielding light machine guns as well. Now next, we obviously have a plane on fire coming down about to crash. I'm very excited to see how this is implemented into the map. I'm assuming that's going to play a major role in the Easter egg. Moving onward, we get to take a look at yet another brand new trap. There are so many new traps within this map. This one, of course, is a propeller trap that completely obliterates the zombies. Very excited to see this trap implemented into the game. Moving on, we have our furry little friend, the monkey bomb, making a return. And now we get to see our characters going down a tunnel slide to make a quick getaway from the zombies. Now this next scene is super excited because we can see our character going through an underground water slide and then getting ejected or propelled up into the air of course in order to escape the zombies as well. Also note on the left hand side we can see the element 115 rock taking a sip of juggernaut. We have a pair of pistols that completely destroy the zombies. We also can see two power ups getting dropped one of which is the death machine power up and the other one appears to be a small spiky looking ball. I don't know if this is going to be very similar to that of the meat from grief mode in Black Ops 2 or if it's going to be similar to a Widow's Wine style perk. Maybe we're going to be getting a brand new perk in Zetsuba no Shima. I think that it's unlikely but nonetheless we have a brand new spiky power up drop on the map. 
Continuing onward, we have yet another brand new trap. This is a fan trap, as you guys can see. It's pretty self-explanatory. It either blows or sucks the zombies into the propeller, in which the propeller completely destroys those zombies. Moving onward, we've got medieval spiders. Continuing onward, we can see our characters are able to swim and shoot zombies at the same time again we can take a look at that brand new hg40 submachine gun very excited to see how the water gameplay will be implemented into the map i know that it's going to completely change the dynamic of zombies and i'm very excited for it now of course this trailer wouldn't be complete if treyarch didn't leave us with one final thing that made us saying what the fuck and this is exactly what it is what the fuck is that we have a giant mutant skull type zombie and you can see that on this zombie skull we have these orange blobs and i'm assuming that if you guys were to shoot those blobs spiders will end up coming out so you're gonna have to deal with this giant mutant boss zombie as well as spiders overall i cannot wait for this map let me know your thoughts about this full trailer down in the comment section below also let me know if i missed anything i'm sure i did but overall hope you guys enjoyed today's video leave a like and subscribe and i'll be sure to catch you guys later peace